So in this video we're going to be learning how to add more security to our forms. Because a lot of websites are vulnerable to what's called cross-site request forgery. Essentially all it is is when an attacker has a form on their website and they submit data to the target website and because the user is logged in already they request the attacker sends is authenticated and whatever form the attacker targeted would accept the data. So in real terms what that means is if you had a form that had a button that let people delete their account, if someone went onto a malicious website that targeted your website in the background, the attacker could delete the person's account when they go on the attacker's website. Or as I'm going to show you now, the attacker could send messages using your account. So you can see here, I have a message that says CSRF message. I click on it, that's the message there. And that message wasn't sent using our send message.php page. It was sent by this website, howcodeorg.github.io slash csrf.html. It's just a special page I created on a remote website to test this out. And it says not secure because this is running on HTTPS and our local host isn't. Essentially what happens is every time I run this page, it's gonna send a message using my account. So you can see I have one message now, I refresh, there's the message and I'm gonna reload this page now and you're gonna see it's gonna send a message. So there that page has just been loaded and it's on the internet, it's not on my local machine. And if I refresh this page, now we can see we have a new message and it's unread because it's brand new. We click on it and there is the CSRF message. It was sent by this website because I'm logged in in another tab. The way CSRF works is it takes advantage of the web browser's authenticate. On our social network, we are authenticating using cookies and every time we send a request, the authentication cookie is sent in that request. So whenever I send a request from another page, the authentication cookie is sent as well, which means I'm logged in. But it also means that the attacker, just by virtue of me being logged in at all, can send messages on my account. So here's the CSRF page. It has a form on it that sends its data using an iframe so we never actually see the page reload. Uh, we hid the form and the form submits to this page, our send message.php page with a question mark and then it has receiver equals three because that's the person we want to send the message to. The person who the message will be sent from will always be the person who's logged in because they've already authenticated. So that's the problem, but how do we fix it? But the way we fix it is we need a guarantee that every form that is submitted is a form on our website. And as we can see here, we wanna make sure that it's not a form that's coming from a different website. So whenever the user tries to access the form, what we're gonna do is generate a token. And whenever the form gets submitted, we're gonna compare the token in the form with the token that was generated by the server. And if the two tokens match, we'll know that the form was in fact a form on our website and it wasn't a form on a separate website trying to do cross-site request forgery. So on our send message page, the first thing we need to do is generate our token. And we're gonna use sessions for this, we're not gonna be using cookies. So the first thing we wanna do is generate our session. So up here, we'll say session start, and that allows us to use sessions. Next, what we wanna do is we wanna create a session token. And we're gonna set session token is gonna be equal to a token. And we're gonna get our token from our login script. So if we go to login and we scroll down, we can see we're generating a token using these two lines here. So we're gonna copy those two lines and paste them here and we're gonna say token is equal to token. We don't need such a strong token because it's this has 64 random bytes. We could do a much smaller token and we'd still be safe from CSRF, but we're gonna keep it like that for now. And below here we will print our the session variable. So there is our token we've just generated. And now what we wanna do is store that token in the form. So the way we do that is we scroll down and here we have a hidden field in the form. Input type is gonna be hidden and its value is gonna be the value of our token, which is gonna be echo session token like this. And now we're gonna refresh and if we view source, you can see there's the token there and there is the hidden token in our form. And uh, we're just gonna give this a name of no CSRF. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say if post no csrf doesn't equal token then we're going to die we're going to say invalid token and we're not going to print out our session token now that we've created our token we need a way to destroy the token so after the button has been submitted we're going to say session destroy to destroy that token what we want to do is actually change that to session because we want to check the session variable and here what we want to do is we want to check if the token has been set so here we'll say if is not set session token so if the session token doesn't exist, then we're going to create one. So we're gonna send a message. It says message sent. There's our message. It was sent using our form. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and go to our CSRF page. I'm gonna click refresh. Now you can see no message was sent. If I inspect the page and go to network and I refresh, you can see there is where we are sending the request that sends the message. So when we try to use our CSRF attack, we end up with this error. So to prevent that error, what we could simply say is also if is not set 
post no CSRF. So in other words, if they just leave that field out completely, then we're gonna die and say invalid token. So if they don't have the CSRF field, we're gonna say invalid token. And if they try to put in a random value in the CSRF field that is invalid, we're also gonna say invalid token and that's gonna prevent CSRF attacks. We just have to put this on every form that we wanna prevent CSRF attacks on. So if I refresh, the error is gone and it says invalid token. But if I go to the page properly and I try to send something, hello world, no CSRF, and I click send message, it says message sent and I refresh and the message was sent successfully. There's the message, we have a slight bug in our messaging system, we just need to put brackets around here. And we refresh and there's our message, hello world, no CSRF. And I can click this page as many times as I want and I refresh and we're getting no messages being sent. And then every time I do it, we see invalid token. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. And I'll see you next time.